G'day people. Need to wave the hand. Wave the hand! Whoa! Anyway, my name is Glenn, and some people call me in that case. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anyway, so today, uh, I have a new word for you. And that is to pull one's head in. Now, you can say this various ways. You can say, pull my head in, or pull your head in. And this just refers to someone waking up and facing reality. Now, I have some um, phrases here that you could say it in. Um, you can say it to someone else like, Pull your head in. The drugs are bad for you. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. So pull one's head in. Pull your head in. Drugs are bad for you. Um, or you could say, don't be stupid. Pull your head in. Okay? So don't be stupid. Wake up to yourself. It is not going to happen. Or wake up to yourself. You need to get a grip on reality. Okay, so that's pull your head in. If you wanted to use it to refer to yourself, oh, sorry, a bit tired. You say, I should have pulled my head in. Yeah, I should have pulled my head in because I know it's not going to work. So it's like, I should have realized that it is not going to work. So, you can use that phrase, pull your head in, as a re reference to yourself, to pull my head in. Refer to someone else, to pull your head in. Okay? It just means that person has to wake up to reality. Whatever they're doing or pursuing is just not going to work out and they better have changed their tactic or maybe just not do it in the first place okay so I hope this um, phrase in English teaches you something about Australian English and that when you come to Australia you can use it like always so anyway thank you for watching give it a thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like it doesn't matter and subscribe to my channel okay thank you very much and have a bonza day mate